And then I felt like I needed to buy more. Not that I needed, but I wanted to buy more. You know what I mean, right? <laughs> that it will really do not disrupt my makeup. So let's go for it. Today I'm bringing you a Sephora try on haul. Today, Monday, April 24th, is the last day of the Sephora Spring Savings event. And yesterday I uploaded a video where I unboxed my Sephora haul with my daughter in her car. And I want to say thank you so much to all of you. All of you have been so sweet to comment and it just brings me so much joy as a mom. But for me, it was something so, so special to that moment with us and then seeing your response that you really enjoyed the video. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. The comments, um, the likes of the video, they were so high. I was like, oh my gosh. Um, yeah, the response was amazing. And all the love, I don't take it for granted. And I just want to say a huge, huge thank you. So yes, we did some damage at the local Sephora store. And also there were some products that I ordered online and I received. So I thought, you know, might as well, let's do a try on haul. Mostly because like I said, the sale ends today when I'm uploading in this video April 24th I will be leaving all the links of the products that I'm trying today on the description box below the code that you need to enter at checkout you can actually order on your app pick up in a store or ask for same day delivery which is amazing so anyhow I have a ton of products let's just start first with the fragrance of the day Can't Stop Loving You by Killian this is one of the newest fragrances by Killian I say one of them because in fact um he also launched Blue Moon Ginger Dash that by the time that I'm uploading this video I'm gonna check on the Sephora website because I hope it is available and then I will purchase it. So anyhow, the bottle is typical Killian's bottle, well, the newer version. And a lot of people thought, well, this has orange blossom in it. Will this be the same as Love, Don't Be Shy? I do own that fragrance and it's not. And let me tell you that the opening is so beautiful. It's kind of citrusy. So it does have the orange blossom. It does have vanilla, oak mass, honey. But I don't know when the opening is a burst of some sort of freshness. You can smell the orange blossom, but it's not super floral either. It's just gorgeous to say the least. And it has that beautiful oak mass and a tender honey. It's just fantastic. This is definitely not, I don't want to say that <laughs> uh, Love Don't Be Shy is childish, but you know, it has that marshmallow note. It's super sweet. Not like too too sweet but it's sweeter this one is not this is another completely different take and i'm absolutely in love completely in love this is very elegant and i love love that and a great fragrance for spring and summertime too so i'm super happy that i got this on my collection okay friends this morning <laughs> i placed an order for pickup in the store i know i know well when i was with mia we completely forgot i smell this um whey body cream same bars and it smells like pina colada it smells so good so we forgot to put it in our little basket. Mm, I wish you can smell it. It smells honestly like pina colada. And I just want to try a little bit on my hands because I do have another cream that I want to show you. But I think it would be good to try it on my hands because my hands feel a little bit dry right now. It's just the weather. It's very, it's beautiful. It's a springtime, but it's really windy. Not cold though. But you know, with allergies, my skin gets really dry. Mm smells so good and it feels really nice and moisturizing it and it has a thicker kind of whip consistency beautiful and then I also purchased a second tab of that Rio Radiance cream by Sol de Janeiro and I think this is perhaps the second or third favorite from the brand uh, from all what I have tried from them and it smells also so good I feel like okay the way is more pina colada but this one has a little bit of that coconutty kind of scent completely different from the bum bum cream but yet tropical scent too and it has a little bit of color but it doesn't have really a tint now it's supposed to have some radiance 
but I don't, I don't see the radiance. I actually, well, I should say I don't see it. Like I don't see it like in every light, but if you're outside under the sun, you will see a little bit of reflecting particles that is not, it's not shimmer and it smells so good. It smells like really fresh. Instead of like piña colada, like the way, this one is more of like, um, perhaps like slushy of pineapple and something like that, even perhaps some lemony. And what I like about this, this, this cream too is that it's hydrating and it has a squalane. So this is really great if you have dry skin, but let me show you. See, it doesn't have like a super like radiance that you will see shimmer or glitter. It just leaves your skin super, super hydrated and smooth. Now let's move on into sunscreens. So on my previous try-on haul, I already showcased this Cosas SPF. It's really beautiful. Highly suggest you to give it a good shake if you want to see that radiance, because if not, it doesn't spread apart, but it seems like whatever radiance particles that they are, it's not glitter. It seems like perhaps they are like at the bottom. So if you really want to see that radiance, I will highly suggest it to shake it. And it is a mineral SPF. But since I have already tried here on camera, <laughs> on my latest try on haul, the Cosas SPF, I'm going to give it a try to the Super Goop Glow Screen in Golden Hour. So I do have the original one and I decided to pick up the Golden Hour one because I'm thinking ahead on summertime and when I get a little bit of a tan. And one thing that I wanted to mention but I think it's super important it is the amount of SPF that you use all over your body for your face you need to use a quarter of a teaspoon and the best way to measure it is just grab three fingers and go ahead and spread the SPF on your fingers on three of your fingers like such and this is what is supposed to be just for your face. So the area of your face and then for your body, the same thing, depending on how much area, you know, quarter teaspoon. So you will go through a lot of SPF all year round, but it's super important. And I'm taking this moment because one of my beautiful followers shared that one of her clients, unfortunately, was diagnosed with skin cancer and she just went through treatment and it was so painful to see her like such. And I can only imagine the pain. So I think it's also responsibility of the content creators to bring the awareness and to really show how you're supposed to use a product too mostly SPF. So just wanted to bring this to your attention. I'm sure most of you know how much SPF should go in your face. And it's not only your face that you need to put the SPF, also your ears, your neck, your decollet. I'm just showing to you my face right now so you can really see how this looks. So it's giving me definitely, wow, <laughs> I look a little bit bronze. And if you're new here to my channel, welcome, welcome to all of you, my beautiful friends. I film in natural light. The sunscreen gave me a beautiful glow and bronze look to my skin. I went ahead and also applied some of my shoulder and arms so that way it all look kind of even. But I have to tell you that if you wanna skip self tanning on your face, this could actually work. Okay, friends, now let's move on into the hair. This is second day hair, so I'm just gonna brush it really quick. And I'm just gonna try a couple products. First, I'm gonna use my Milky Living Conditioner by Sol de Janeiro. This is a great, great product. So you see how it kind of like became a little bit wavy because my hair is actually wavy. And yesterday I actually straightened it really good because it does have heat protectant too and it makes your hair really manageable and you all know how much I love my Dyson air wrap but you also know that I think it was last year during the holiday season I purchased the new shark flex style which is now available at Sephora they actually have a complete set, even with a case, which I think is wonderful. And I actually use the Shark Flex style, perhaps not as much as my Dyson era, because 
listen me out, I have my Dyson era for almost five years, so I get so used to it, but the thing that I like about that Shark Flex style, actually the brushes, and not only the brushes, also this hair one is really good, and it gives you the same cools as the Dyson era, but for a fraction of a cost, I shouldn't say a fraction, but less expensive, you will save a couple hundred dollars for sure, also the attachments makes it really easy that you can convert it to a dryer, I mean, it has multiple ways to use it and if you want to see a full review on this baby I do have it here on my channel comparing it side by side with the Dyson Airwrap so I'm just gonna go ahead and use this is how you turn it on from here and then you have a way to change the heat as well as the airflow now that the hair is just a little bit more polish and not so curly. I'm gonna go next with my Dyson Coral. I use this from time to time. I mentioned it to you that my daughter Mia and she confirmed that she really loves when I have my hair straight. Now I don't straighten it as much as I used to in the past but whenever I do it obviously I use my Dyson Coral. It's a really really good tool. You just turn it on right here. There you go. And it's also cordless, which is fantastic. It makes it a lot easier. Now here you can just change the temperature. Now I'm not gonna go for 410, it's too much for me. I would just go down to 365, and let's try with that. Do you hear that? That is, that tells you that it's ready to go. And what I like it is that when you pass it, it leaves your hair super smooth and silky. And it doesn't tag your hair either. Hair is restyle, and now I'm gonna try this new K18 Molecular Repair Hair Oil. It is supposed to repair your hair from the molecular level. It does have not that many ingredients, to be honest with you. A lot of it is like even it has squalene, avocado oil, and this is the way it comes. Just press it first, so the product goes up already on the pipette. It's just a very little. I don't know how much oil I'm supposed to use, but I'm just gonna try. It's a few drops right there. I was saying that I really love my Bumble and Bumble one because it's not only like heat protectant, also um, protects from the UV rays. It does have a very like home kind of scent. A little bit herbal, like a spa-like. I don't feel that, that it's making my hair weight down and it gives some shine to my hair too. And it does leave the hair nice and shiny but not oily. You know, it doesn't look greasy. Okay, now that the hair is all done and also the SPF already has sink in, usually you have to let your SPF sink in for minimum 15 to 20 minutes. It's super important before you go with foundation. I'm talking about makeup. I bought these two new primers. One, it is the Peter Thomas Roth Instant Firm No Filter Primer, which is supposed to tie your skin, smooth your enlarged pores, your texture, your fine lines, this product has been going viral for a few months right now over TikTok. By the way, if you're not following me yet in TikTok, Instagram, come and follow me there too. It will be amazing. You will have a great time with my content. And also make sure you are subscribed to this channel with a post notification bell on so you don't miss any of my uploads, whether videos, shorts, and even more information on my community tab. And the other product that is new is by Glow Recipes, the Strawberry BHA for Smooth Blur Drops. Now with this one, I'm a little bit, not concerned, but also a little bit confused because it has BHA. So you have to kind of like be careful on the skincare that you're using and in fact I even will have preferred to use this one before moisturizer and before SPF so this one and then moisturizer SPF I don't know because this is a serum treatment but anyhow let's just try it because they are advertising it as primer but 
First, I'm gonna go with this one. And it recommends to be used on clean skin, but it also says that you can use it after your skincare, after all your products have sink in. So you're able to do so, but again, it's very important to have all the products completely dry out before going with this product. And I feel like it's pretty much already dry out. So we will try it. And the instruction also says to shake it really well and to use a very, very tiny amount. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna use a little drop because the area where I have my enlarged pores is not that big, it's small. So I don't wanna overdone it because this is the area where I'm gonna apply it, where I have my enlarged pores. Um, perhaps we can do like here too on my chin. So I'm doing a very, very thin layer. You're supposed to let it set like, I think for seven minutes or so. So in the meantime, I'm gonna be using the one by Glow recipe, which is also supposed to give you this blurring effect. Let's see how it does. I'm gonna shake it really well. Look at the little bottle, it's so, so cute. It actually looks like a little sister to this one. <laughs> it's really, really cute. Okay, I think I'm not supposed to smile with this one. I'm supposed to like let it dry and be serious and don't make any faces, I think. Okay, let's go for this one. And I'm gonna put it on my other finger. I don't wanna mix in the formulations and I'm gonna apply the same amount, very little. Okay, it says that it's a strawberry, but I honestly do not smell any strawberry. So let's see how this goes. It's a tiny, tiny amount. Just blending it really well. And I do have dry skin on the perimeters of my face and normal skin right in the middle where I have my large pores and also on my chin. So far, here, I don't see that it's really blurring. Perhaps up here a little bit more than here. I'm gonna apply just a tiny bit more, like this much. I mean, you can barely see that dot, but it's a tiny amount. Let's see if I can see more blurring. Oh yeah. Yeah, I can see more blurring. I think I apply most of it up top. And I don't feel any kind of mm, sensation of like tightening effect, nothing of that as of right now. In the meantime, while we let these two primers completely and fully dry, I'm going to go to this Dior Attic Lip Sugar Scrub, which comes in this little cute, cute lipstick light package. I think this is ideal if you're on the go and need to scrub your lips, you know, if they are chapped right now because it's that season. And it's not dry, but the allergies are just like, ah, uh, so bad. And you just wrap like this. Mm -hmm. And it does exfoliate. At the same time, it hydrates. So you feel the particles a little, but then it kind of like melts down into nothing, into like, kind of like a lip balm so while you're exfoliating it also hydrates your lips and you leave kind of like a little pink hue on your lips now i'm gonna go with this summer fridays lip butter balm and i know this was so like viral i think it was last year yeah a few months ago i will have to say and this is the first time that i'm gonna try it they added two new shades but i was still very attracted to this shade which is called Vanilla Beige. It's more nude in tone. I also have the coral one, but my daughter tried it and she said she likes it. <laughs> so um, she left out mom <laughs> there. So it comes like that. Oh, I can feel like, oh, oh yes. Definitely I feel more blurring of the Peter Thomas rod than the one from the one from Glow Recipe looks blurring, but not as blurring as this one. Let me just add a little bit more. <laughs> I'm like, more, more, more. It 
comes, it does have like kind of like a little divot. And then you just squeeze it and some product will come out. I really like the dispenser because it really hacks the leaves. Okay, this is like one swipe. It doesn't have a ton of shade though, but I think enough, like even if I put a lip liner under it, nice and juicy. It doesn't feel sticky. It's literally a lip balm. And I really like the smell. It's not super sugary, not too, too vanilla-like. That's really good. Let's go back to the primers. Definitely this one from Peter Thomas Rose. You can see how blurring it is, like zoop. And I don't feel any tight effect. If I touch it, it feels a little bit velvety. I'm sure there's a film in there. And this one, the one by Lore Recipe, it feels a little bit more hydrating and it is blurring. It definitely is blurring, but not as much as this one. So it depends how much blurring you need or you want from your primer. I think either way, this one is more obvious. This one is a little bit more subtle, but it's still working. Okay, now let's move on into foundation. And honestly, I was kind of intrigued about the Basma. I think it's called Basma foundation. It's a foundation and stick that has gone viral. But you know what? These few days that I had been really bad <laughs> with my allergies, I have been gravitating towards my trusty Tom Ford Traceless Foundation on a Stick. You know, my friends, if you have been following me since I started my YouTube channel a few years ago, you know how much I love this foundation and how many times I take it for trips. And looking at the price of the Basma and the price of this one and making calculations, this one is less expensive. I know Tom Ford, less expensive than the one that is viral. So, to me, it didn't make really sense to pick it up. I don't know. I'm curious and I may pick it up even today, the last day of the sale. <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm going to be using this one. But I'm super happy to have my Tom Ford Traceless Foundation Stick on my collection. It's gorgeous. And I will highly, highly recommend it for anybody that is looking for a beautiful skin-like foundation stick that works, that is non-heavy that is hydrating, and if you're commuting, that too. So I'm just kind of, as you can tell, avoiding a little bit this area where I have the primer, and not because I'm not gonna spread the foundation. I'm definitely going to spread the foundation, but I just don't wanna drag any product, even though it's already dry. And I'm just gonna spread the foundation with this Sephora brush, which I think, for the Sephora sale, if you are a Rouge member or if you're able to get 10% off, or even if it's the 10% off as an insider for, you know, very high-end luxury makeup, it is great, but perhaps the best deal is the Sephora collection. I mean, there are so many products. In my try on haul, I tried a liquid eyeshadow that they are fantastic, gorgeous, and they are 30% off and it doesn't matter the tier that you're at, you just get the 30% off, which is incredible. And the brushes are of really, really good quality too. So there you have it. Look at this foundation. Isn't it this gorgeous? I have been using a lot the one by Guerlain, the new one, the Terracotta Letant. It's fantastic. Look at this foundation too. Isn't it this? Wow, amazing. And you know what? The primer did not ball up. Yep, no, it is stay in place, which I'm happy to report. Is it on the other side? This foundation also has beautiful coverage. I would say a medium coverage, buildable too. You can go lighter if you want to, because it's really thin and it's hydrating as well, which is great. I can see a more notorious difference on this side than this side, although this side is also very nice and blur out. Now, if you're wondering about the Tom Ford foundation, if it will, because it's a stick, if it will emphasize or enlarge your already enlarged pores or your texture, it will not. That's the thing that I love about that foundation too. 
And now let's go for my color corrector I have been enjoying is by Givenchy. They also launch a concealer and they have the same formula. They are almost watery like and they do have a really nice buildable coverage. I'd say light, almost to medium, but as you can tell, I have really dark and dry circles that they are just terrible. Now you may be wondering why I think about the concealer, which I have already tried to and showcased it here on my channel. It is a really nice concealer, very much alike to the coverage that you will get with a Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I think it's a Luminous Silk concealer that is very lightweight, light to medium coverage. But in terms of a concealer, it is not very long wearing. It fades away, I will say, within just a couple hours, like even three hours to four hours, you will see it already fading away. Now, the beautiful thing about this concealer is that if you don't have the dark and dry circles that I have, and you like, for example, the Luminous Silk Concealer, and that works for you, I'm sure this concealer will work, will work for you too. It's very stretchy, so it doesn't settle on fine lines and wrinkles. It has this stretchy kind of formula that is just fantastic because again it's kind of like emotes with your skin so it just doesn't emphasize anything but anyhow i like to use the color corrector and then on top i'm gonna go with the tom Ford concealer this is also a fantastic product it has a very light formulation to the foundation it's long wearing it does increase it does have a solid medium coverage to buildable it is fantastic honestly it is fantastic and it comes in various different shades too which i enjoy very much i'm gonna let it set for a little and i'm gonna do my brows really quick i usually show my charlotte tilbury brow pencil but now i'm gonna go with the one by patrick ta is an excellent brow pencil too very fine setting it with the brow lamination gel by patrick ta going back to the concealer and i'm gonna just spread it And look how beautiful this looks. It looks hydrating. See, I'm on my fourth floor. I'm over 40 years old. And the least that I want is for my eyes to look dry and cool or to emphasize my fine lines. And these products, they do an incredible job. Now, I think since the day that this product launched, I had been trying to get it, but it has been sold out. And finally, they restocked it. So I went ahead and purchased it. This is by Makeup by Mario. It's their bronzer sculpting kind of stick. I got it in the shade medium. Looks a little bit deep though, but I actually really like the shade when swatching it. I actually swatched it in the store and first it looks deep, but when you blend it, it has a really beautiful tone. Very true to a bronze tone. Now I don't know if it dries fast, so I'm just going to apply it on one side of my face. Okay, this is really easy to blend. Mm, the shade is pretty too. It's a neutral kind of tone actually. If you're wondering, I have also tried the new Tower 28 Esculptino Bronzer Slash um, Contour product. It's gorgeous. It actually reminds me a lot of Chanel in the shade medium. The one that comes in the, in the jar, in the pot. Really, really good formula. But I think for Esculptino... It does have a little bit more of a, not glitter, not shimmer, but just a little bit more of a sheen than the one from Makeup by Mario. Oh, this is a breeze to use. My gosh, I have been missing out, honestly. <laughs> this is gorgeous. I'm so impressed. Okay, I get the hype now. <laughs> I really get the hype. This is such a good product. So happy I got it. Although I don't need to set the concealer, I'm just going to powder it a little bit with the Givenchy Prise Libre setting powder. This is the loose setting powder in the pinky tone, which is great. Now, amazing product to use any setting powder, mostly loose one, is this Beauty Blender little sponge. It is fantastic. So I'm just going to press. Here, right here. 
Okay. For bronzer, I'm going to go with this new Pat McGrath bronzer. This one is in Bronze Nirvana, and I'm going to be using this double-ended brush by Hourglass. And these bronzers are not shy. They have a lot of pigment, so just go light-handed because they are deceiving. You're going to feel like these bronzers... They do have like little pigment. They look kind of lighter on the pan. They are not. Now, is it a groundbreaking formula? No, it's not, but it's a great formula. Nonetheless, something that honestly, I was expecting from Pat McGrath to have a really beautiful one shade range. Although I think that is missing perhaps a little bit of different undertones because most of them, they pull in the warmer side. I wish to have seen a, some more along the reddish, tones etc but I think the shade range is beautiful nonetheless but the formula is super smooth and airbrush too which it's really really nice now some people ask me what about the Valentino bronzer I mean that Valentino it's Valentino let me tell you that the air powder formulas are incredible to the point that I even bought two more blushes the beginning of the sephora sale i bought one more to my existing collection and then i couldn't resist and i bought even more and then i felt like i needed to buy more not that i need it but i wanted to buy more you know what i mean right <laughs> so i got very rosé and also roman sky so o2 and o8 this is o2 very rosé so pretty roman sky Ooh, this is gorgeous too. It's kind of like a peachy tone. And let's go with eyeshadows. And oh my gosh, I went ham with these Glossier eyeshadows. Honestly, I was able to see them in a store and they all look beautiful. Like they look very smooth and shiny. They all have this kind of like wet kind of look too. And the packaging is super cute. I mean, it looks kind of like a waffle. <laughs> I know, super cute. It has a G on the end. So the palettes that I got is Thick. And these are cruelty-free too, just in case if you're wondering. This is very pretty. It's like an everyday kind of palette. So I'm going to stretch it here on the side. The other one that really attracted me is Mist. And this one is more of like a light lavender kind of color story more like cool tone oh they look so gorgeous and then the last one I got is Yute now this is very muted Perhaps, yeah, this is going to be too light for me. Yeah, this is too light for me. But this is stunning. Yeah, this one will be more for someone with fairer skin tones. I feel that Tick is going to be super popular, but I'm drawn to Miss too. I mean, both of them are pretty. So I'm going to go with Miss. And I'm going to go with the matte shade first. And I'm going to apply it above the crease. And I think I have been going more into, you know, these purpley tones since I tried. And I think because it's a spring, I'm just a little bit more drawn to these purpley kind of tones. Which this one is actually kind of like a muted purple, but it does have nice pigmentation. It's not shy and it's blending so easy too. The only thing with these palettes, I feel like they could have made them quads and have a deeper shade just to, you know, give a little bit of variation to the palette itself. But it is what it is. And I'm taking this shade and applying it on the outer third of the eyelid. Now I'm going to go with this shade, which is the lightest one. And oh my god. It's so pretty. You know what? For the fun of it, I'm going to go with my finger. And I'm just going to apply it directly. Okay, the formula, it's a spot on. Really, really nice formula. 
obviously I will have to give you kind of like a feedback on how long wearing it is but I feel that one they're not patchy they do not have fallout and the pigment it's it's there it's completely there I'm going to deepen out a little bit the outer V with this shade from the Teak palette. I don't have to, but I just want to. <laughs> and that is okay. I mean, you can always play around. And I think these palettes were like $20. I was like, what? These prices are like rock store prices or even less at this point in time. I gave a little bit more of dimension and it looks so beautiful. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, listen, you don't have to use two palettes to achieve any look. I just happen to have both palettes right here, so I'm going to use the matte shade. And I'm going to take it on my lower lash line. So you have basically in each palette a matte shade is satin and kind of like a metallic shade. And I'm going to take it on my lower lash line and just going to make it a little deeper. When we use that lighter palette, I know, like what I'm doing, just crazy right here. I'm gonna go to this shade and I'm just gonna put it on my inner corner. A little, oops, there you go. Super pretty. Whatever is remaining, I'm just gonna take it on my brow bone. Okay, Glossier, impressed with your eyeshadows. That's a good sign. And for eyeliner, I'm gonna go with my trusty, you know, my roller liner by Benefit. And I'm gonna purchase, before I forget, I need to put it on the basket. I need to purchase another one because this one is, it still has, I mean, these are long lasting. Still have some product, but I'm sure anytime soon, it's gonna be all done and gone. And I'm gonna do the same thing with my Tom Ford liquid eyeliner because that one I had it for almost two years and it's still, going but i know it's gonna be soon like all gone too so i need to buy probably a backup because like i said soon it's gonna be gone it's a my liner also my waterline and now i'm gonna go with the mascara that i had been enjoying quite a bit is by Kali Ray. it's a tubing mascara and it's a little bit wet but what i like about it is that it gives separation and length and it actually doesn't flake doesn't transfer I wish it would give me more volume though, but it doesn't. Can you see, like, it gives me separation, length. It looks really nice and it doesn't transfer. I'm loving this eyeshadow look, vibing with that. Now, for blush, I'm gonna go with Valentino, the number two. What was it? Roman Sky or no, Very Rose. That's what it is. And I'm using the other side of the hourglass brush. Gorgeous shade. This is what I like about the Valentino blushes and bronzers, and in general, it's the same formula even for the setting powder. Okay, <laughs> is that it's blurring, it applies with ease. So good. I don't think I have any new powder highlighter from Sephora. So I'm going to be using one of the new Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Glow Lashes and I have already done my review with all the shades that they are offered at Sephora, apply on my cheeks side to side with comparison swatches, all of that jazz. So if you haven't yet watched it, I will highly suggest you to do so. These are gorgeous blushes. Now, they are not as luminous as the Valentino, not as luminous as the Gucci one, but they are really, really blurring. Now, this particular shade, 50, is the only one that is offered at the moment, like I said, at Sephora, that has a little bit of luminosity, that it could be kind of a hybrid between a blush and a highlighter or a luminizer more than anything. A lot of people have been comparing it to NARS orgasm and I don't think so <laughs> honestly I don't think so this one has another undertone to a little bit more goldeny but look at that it's just fantastic so definitely you can use it even as a highlighter if you want to but this formula is stunning 
as luxurious as Gucci, Valentino. I think although I feel that Gucci is a little bit more silky and Valentino, the formula of Valentino is something so unique, so different that I have never tried before that it just makes it like very, very extra special. But these are money lashes are stunning too. Look at that. Seamless. So seamless. I went ahead and removed just a little bit the lip balm, which is honestly beautiful. It didn't move and it felt really comfortable. I understand the hype. But anyhow, I'm going to go with this lip liner by Natasha Denona, which is one of the best lip liners that they are out there alongside with the ones from Charlotte Tilbury too. They're so good. I do not have any other new lipstick product. The only one that I picked up that you already have seen me swatch at is this one by Tom Ford in the shade Naked Haze. It's stunning. I'm going to use it because I love how comfortable it is. It's matte that it doesn't dry your lips. It's not really like super, super long wearing. Like it's not like, say, the Chanel... Uh, What's it called? La Rouge du Ultra Genou that is long lasting. You have to reapply it after, you know, you eat a meal. But it's comfortable, it's beautiful. And if you like, like a demi matte kind of finish that is not super drying, you're gonna love, love, love. This formula by Tom Ford is so good. And over top, you can definitely use a lip gloss, lip oil. I'm gonna be using the lip oil by Dior, love to double it up again, it's so good. Mm, love, love this look. And let me tell you, both primers, they really work beautifully. And I was able to apply everything that I needed, my SPF, my foundation, everything just with ease. Now, I decided to ring my makeup. Hopefully not, <laughs> but I heard that this Chiseido clear sunscreen stick can go over makeup and it will not disrupt your makeup, so let's try it. I know, I know, it's okay. I mean, makeup is makeup. I can always like retouch it and see how this goes. So it comes like this. I know, you're going to be Jacqueline, are you crazy? Well, I, I want to try it on camera because I want to make sure that this product that has been going viral because you can apply it on top of your makeup that it will really do not disrupt my makeup. So let's go for it. What? Yeah, it didn't disrupt my makeup. My makeup is still there. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Chiseiro. Now, now I have a product that I can reapply my SPF with makeup on. Oh my gosh, this is incredible. Okay, this is literally the hype is real right here. This, this is something. Go ahead, purchase it. Make sure you add it to cart immediately before the sale ends. Make sure you add it to cart immediately before the sale ends. Okay. Okay, friends. So this makes it for this video. Let me know if you have tried any of these products or if you are immediately adding to cart any of the products that I used today. I mean, I think you see my on all of these products so definitely a total total success again all the links each product that i use today will be on the description box below i want to say a big big thank you to all of you who have decided to shop through my links it's a really good way to support my channel it doesn't cost you anything and it really helps me to keep bringing this kind of content that i know you love okay my friends this makes it for this video i hope that you enjoyed it that you find it helpful let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below while you're at it and if you haven't done so yet i want to invite you to subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads it would be incredible if you can come and follow me on my instagram and tiktok if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and if you're not done watching my content i will be leaving a couple other videos right here that i'm sure you're gonna love until the next time i hope you have a beautiful wonderful day goodbye